the remnants of a once great mansion christened the Hermitage by its builder still stand in Hamilton, Ontario. Destroyed by fire in the 1930s, the ruins are a mere shell of the splendor that once was. But among the remains, two paranormal entities from the manor's opulent past have been reported. A park employee approached the ruins and was shocked to see a body hanging from a tree. He was stunned, fearing someone had committed suicide. The figure swayed in the wind and then vanished. The terrified employee ran. Later, he learned there had been a suicide at that very spot, but he was over a century too late to have stopped it. Today I'm standing in front of the Hermitage Ruins in Ancaster, once a beautiful mansion built by the Leith family in the mid-1800s is now a set of stone ruins after a large fire in the 1930s claimed it. One of the legends at the Hermitage involves a coachman by the name of William Black. Now, William was a servant of Otto Ives. He was in love with his niece, so they went to Otto Ives and they told him about what was going on. He flipped out. He couldn't have his niece being involved with a lowly servant. William Black couldn't take the pain of not having his love, so he went out back with a length of rope and hung himself. The legend goes that William Black still travels between the spot of where he's buried to the hermitage, carrying his length of rope and looking for his lost love. People have reported seeing William Black here at night, the tall, dark figure of a man. seen him disappear but also we've gotten reports of people who saw him got scared and turned around and quickly went the other way well, I've always felt that there's a lot of energy at the Hermitage uh, not all good energy there's a lot of negative energy here I had an unusual experience after one of our ghost walks I had to go around the one side of the Hermitage to call the people who were kind of milling around back to come back out because the security guards couldn't lock the gate so I went around the right side of the hermitage and I saw two people look like they were dressed in black but it was very dark. Right after I called out to them, as if they didn't really hear me, they started turning and going towards the forest. I was a little bit confused at that point so I called out again. I said, we have to go, they're going to lock us in. And they walked right out into the forest so I ran over there. I shone the flashlight out and there was nobody there. I can't say I was threatened by the, the two ghosts I saw, but uh, definitely when I come back here at night, it's the first thing that pops up into my mind. This second ghost is described as an elderly woman, and many believe her to be the spirit of Alma Dick Lauder, the last owner of the Hermitage Mansion. Alma Dick Lauder bought the mansion off of her family and fell in love with it. This is where she wanted to stay. After it burned down in the 1930s, she was so adamant about staying on this land, she actually set up a tent in front of the ruins and lived in that tent with her crippled dog until her death in the 1940s. Alma loved her home so much that she may have stayed on long after her death. This spirit possesses a unique ability it seems to be able to control what others see. An engineer traveled to the Hermitage, eager to study the building's foundation. He did not find the ruins he expected. Instead, there was a ghostly image of a stone mansion in full splendor, drifting in and out of focus, like a mirage. As he approached, the building returned to its ruined state. The man heard a sound behind him and turned to find an elderly woman staring at him curiously. Perhaps she wanted to offer a brief glimpse of the building as she remembered and loved it. And then she vanished. The terrified engineer had no desire for any further exploration. 
the skeletal remains of the once proud Hermitage Mansion still stand, now home only to these two spirits. One, a man who loved a woman so deeply he could not bear to live without her. The other, a woman whose devotion to the manor was so strong that death could not take it away from her. Thousands visit the ruins each year, but a fortunate few may, if the spirit is willing, catch a glimpse of the splendor which once was. <laughs>